Hey everyone, welcome back to Fox Tech. Today, we're diving into a feature on your iPhone that you might not pay much attention to, but it can actually make a significant difference in your user experience. We're talking about haptic touch, a technology that adds a tactile dimension to your interactions through subtle vibrations when you touch and hold the screen. Now, you may be thinking, what if I want to customize this feature to suit my preferences? Well, you're in luck because today we're going to explore how to change the haptic touch speed on iOS 17, giving your iPhone that extra boost in responsiveness. So let's get started. First things first, head over to your iPhone settings. Just tap on the settings icon and then scroll down until you find the accessibility option. Once you're there, look for the touch icon and tap on haptic touch to access the settings we're looking for. Now here's where the magic happens. You can adjust the haptic touch speed to make your iPhone feel faster. It's like fine tuning the responsiveness of your device to match your preferences. If you're wondering how to do this, simply choose the fast option and you'll notice a noticeable difference in how quickly your iPhone responds to your touch and hold gestures. This customization isn't just about aesthetics. It can actually enhance your overall user experience. By saving time on those interactions, your iPhone will feel more efficient and responsive. And who doesn't want that? Before we wrap up, I want to remind you to check out the Fox Tech Education Platform, a free resource I created for you. The link is in the description below, so make sure to explore that after this video. All right, that's it for today's tutorial on changing the haptic touch speed on iOS 17. If you found this information helpful, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe for more tech insights. Your support means a lot. Thank you for watching Fox Tech. I appreciate each and every one of you. If you have any questions or thoughts, drop them in the comments below. And as always, don't forget to subscribe, hit that like button, and share this video with anyone who might find it useful.